Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Sculpture Unlocked from Hourglass Cosmetics. So I'm very excited for this because this is actually my first purchase from Hourglass. And um, I've actually seen a lot of Hourglass products before. Um, a lot of my colleagues um, use them and um, especially during the early uh, years that Hourglass has just um, come out into the market. Um, I would usually go and check out their Hourglass products on their tables and um, the products that were there at that time didn't um, call out to me because I think it was the strobing lights that was released first. So I found that the pigments there were just too white for my taste. And um, if I use it on my skin tone or on clients who have the same skin tone as mine or some or some who have even deeper skin tones, which is usually the case, um, it will look ashy on me and on them. So that's the main reason why um, I never got to them. Up until I actually saw this, um, I think I first saw this on the Beautylish website and it came out with a bundle with something else. I forgot what that bundle was but when I was actually about to purchase it, um, it was not available and that was during like the holiday rush of 2020 because after all, this was released for their holiday 2020 collection. And most recently, like um, if you've seen my haul video, it, um, I actually presented this there and um, I was able to find it on the Sephora Philippines website and I did some um, some research and I couldn't find this on sephora.com so that's like for stateside but I was still able to find this um, for sale on the Hourglass website so if you're interested in getting this for yourself um, this is still available on the Hourglass website I'm gonna put the link down to that below in the description box so that you can just go and check it out so this compact came in a box like this in a gold box very beautiful very uh, reflective looks very pretty and um, the thing that I found very interesting with this packaging is that when you open it there's actually like a small piece of paper if I can get to it that will actually show you how you can use um, this product so which is very interesting for someone who is not really into makeup and also who's new to the brand so this will be very helpful to use now um the other thing that i also saw on the packaging is that um here inside here it's written that um, five percent of um, the sales of this particular product will go to the Don Human Project. So that in itself is great. And also, um, I'm also glad to say that they also have names. So we'll get into that one by one later. Now the packaging itself is quite heavy and which is quite a surprise for me because each of the pan here only weighs at around 1.4 grams of product. Did I get that right? Yeah, 1.4 grams of product. Other thing that I'm having issues with the packaging is that I found that this um, type of design here is not necessary because this part here here on top actually holds the mirror so it doesn't serve a purpose on why this packaging is designed in such a way and the other thing um the main reason why i don't like it this way is because i tend to store them in my makeup kit most of the time and this will actually take up space and it will also minimize the number of palettes that i can keep in the makeup kit other than that it's quite elegant you know it's pretty it's great for traveling and it also feels very um, sturdy so this will travel well in your purse so of course you have the hourglass logo here with the bunny um, design and at the back you see the information about um, the names of the product on each pan and also where it's made so it's made in um, Italy and this product has a 12 month use by date um, after first opening okay so the main reason why I got attracted to this product is because they are minis now there's a, this is the thing with me with minis if I am curious about a certain product or a certain brand I always tend to look for minis first so that I can get to know them and to see if they work very well with me and the other main reason that I have in purchasing um, this palette from Hourglass is because I recently bought um, the Viseite blush palette so I bought the plum and the bronze palette and the rose and the coral palette and the thing is these are matte so i was thinking of buying um, highlighters in palette form because the way that i um, pack my makeup kit now i just want it to be very light and i don't want to bring a lot of stuff you know because i just want to keep my makeup kit secure and um, i don't want to contaminate any other products you know because of the pandemic things like that and um the, as soon as i saw this on online i knew instantly that the colors that i see here will work very well in adding sheen and shine and glow 
to the matte formula of these two palettes. So yes, as you can see, um, the products that you see here on the pan is very glowy, lots of shimmer, lots of shine. And um, the thing is, the first thing that comes into to my mind when I hear the word hourglass, um, it's always like, you know, um, highlighters, 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 and strobing um, products, things like that. But um, so initially when I saw this on the website, I thought that this was all like highlighting powders, except obviously for this um, product here. So, um, but after like, reading the description box and then reading everything that's described on the packaging um, I found out that this is a finishing powder this is a bronzing powder this is a strobing powder and this is a blush so that in itself for the price and also for the amount of uh, product that is on each pan um, that's like an interesting mix if you know what I mean and although I find it to be a little too expensive for like 1.4 grams of product each but um i mean it's a nice introduction you know if um you're new to this it's actually like a multi-use product like looking at it now um you can actually use this for more than just applying um shine and glow to the face but we'll get to there in a teeny tiny bit so the finishing powder here is called soft light and if you see it on our finger it's a very nice yellow warm tone of finishing powder which will work very well with skin tones like mine but if i swatch it this will actually disappear well into my skin tone but you can see it's also creating a nice glow to it which i kind of like and which is very interesting for me because um truthfully it's a lot warmer than most of the finishing powders that i have um in my collection and those are the guerlain meteorites so i like this already for the fact that this is a yellow tone finishing powder it doesn't have any scent by the way so which is great if you're someone who is allergic to scents this will be great but um i do have to say though that this finishing powder reminds me of the meteorites candle glow pearls as you can see here um, I know it uh, looks too white and pink, but if we see the color that's registering on the sponge here, they kind of look the same. So isn't that interesting? The Gorilla Meteorite smells so good. Okay, next what we have here is this um, color, and this is called Golden Bronze Light. And if we swatch it at the back of our hand, it's indeed golden and it's also quite warm which i really like and i believe this will work very well with skin tones like mine not as a contour product but more like as a bronze tour so that in itself really mimics how um i actually tan so i like this already based on the swatching okay the next color that we have here is a blush and it's called mood flush and let's try to see where i can swatch this maybe here so this is a very nice warm blush color but um to me although it kind of disappears into my skin tone but to me anyway um i think this is just too shimmery for a blush itself but this would be great to use as a topper and of course the last color that we have here is this color and this is called champagne strobe light so of course this is used for highlighting and you see a lot of light reflecting off from there and again i like that this is like a champagne tone very warm and not silvery at all so it will not make your skin look ashy so based on the swatching we realize now that this will really make you look very healthy and very well lit like you know you're in front of the candle or maybe you're basking under the dying light of the setting sun so. okay so now what we're going to do is i'm just going to try to see how well this ambient mini palette will work on skin that has foundations so i'm going to apply foundation on the left side of my face and then i'm gonna keep my right side of my face bare so that we can see how they work on bare skin and on skin that has product now usually when i am um use when i'm trying out um highlighting powders or powders or you know, things that have a lot of glow in them i tend to use a matte foundation because if i use a very radiant foundation it kind of creates an overly radiant look so it kind of defeats the purpose of testing it out so um that's the reason why i always prefer to use a matte foundation and my favorite matte foundation is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless okay so let's set everything with powder so i'm gonna get my pressed 
translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm just gonna be using a very new Chikahodo powder brush. This is the um, Makie Plum powder brush and I just love how well this brush layers on a very nice hint of powder on the face. Okay, so um, since we're going to be using a lot of highlighting powders and um, finishing powders, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to pick up more of the powder products and I'm just going to add some of that in this part of my face because this is the one that has a lot of texture. And the thing with me is if I, um, I don't actually apply finishing powders on this part of my face, because it will just make my pores come out more. Okay, now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly powder uh, the side of my face where I don't have any product or foundation on because it's just much more easier for um, lighting products to glide on to the skin when it has a light layer of powder on it. So let's just lightly powder my right side. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my PF4 Chikahoto powder brush. This was sent over to me by Fooded Beauty and this is again another amazing brush and I'm just gonna use it to mattify this part of my face. Okay so um, if there's anything that I'm having issues about this palette is the size of it. It's just too small but luckily I have a brush head that would fit here perfectly and this is my Hakuhodo B110 brush and I'm just gonna use this to add a finishing powder on my skin. So I'm just gonna add it my cheeks, some parts of my forehead, and I'm just not gonna overdo it because if I do, it's just gonna make everything too glowy. But I like this instantly because it doesn't make my skin look ashy when we apply the powder on the skin. Okay, so this is how it looks like initially and I like how it kind of adds the glow um, on the left side of my face where I actually used a matte foundation so that's great and I like the golden tones that's coming out and reflecting from the powders and then as you can see here this is what it looks like on my bare skin so it's just very natural and you can still see a golden glow coming out so that's great it looks like you know it's being lit by a very warm candle so I like that. And by the way, this is how it looks like under daylight because I'm shooting with no um, lighting equipment on. Okay, so with my Chikahodo MK Plum Powder Brush, I'm gonna pick up some of the product off of the bronzing powder here. And I'm glad that this brush actually fits into the pan. And let's see how well it actually applies on the skin. Okay, so I kind of like how the color is laying on my cheeks and it's also making my skin look very healthy. It's like I, this is actually how I look like when I get um, sunburned. So it's very golden, it's very warm and I like it this way. Oh, And I like that it doesn't have any neutral pigments in it because it doesn't make it look muddy. So in a sense, this makes, this gives you a very nice healthy glow. So if you're thinking that um, this palette is nice to use for sculpting, I don't think so because it's just too shiny. Because if you want to create a sculptural effect on your cheekbones, you need to use a matte and a neutral color. But this is too warm and too glowy. Oh, but I like how it's making me look. <gasps> I like it. Okay, let's pick up more and let's apply it on this side of the face. Okay, I'm seeing that it's creating a very nice glow to my skin. It's giving me that very nice healthy look. I mean, I know it's winter time in some parts of the world and this would be great to use just to add some warmth on the skin. Okay, so I'm actually liking how well this bronzer registers on my skin and um, looking at it now, I think if you have lighter skin tones, you can use this to sculpt your cheeks. But just be very light-handed about it because as I've said earlier, it's just not as neutral and it has a lot of glow in it. So when the light actually hits your cheekbones, it doesn't create the um, sculptural effect that you want in a contouring product. Now by saying that, um, I think um, this bronzer will work on deeper on deep skin tones but not on people who have very deep skin tones so this can be quite limiting although if you have like nice warm deep golden undertones on your skin i think this would be great as a topper on top of a bronzer or on top of a blush okay now what we're going to do is we're gonna get some of this blush color and we're just gonna lightly apply it 
on the cheeks and blend it with the bronzer and see how it looks like. That's pretty though. I like it and I like how well it diffuses on the skin. I like how well it blends. Okay, so let's do our other side. Um, these two colors together, the bronzer and the blush, is making me look that I have been kissed by the sun. So this is actually very pretty. I like this. And I could already imagine that this lighting palette will work well mostly as a topper for my matte blushes. Okay, next, so let's add some highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of this color here, the Champagne Strobe Light. And I'm just going to apply it very gently on top of my cheekbones here. And I'm also going to do it here on the other side. Now, I tend to not overdo my um, highlighter because I normally, for my skin, um, I really um, tend to shine as the day progresses. So for me, less is always more. Okay, so this is how I look like with all of the products on my face. On this side, I have the foundation on and then I have some powder and all of the highlighting powders and the strobing powders, the bronzer, the blush. And then this is how it looks like on my skin. So this is all just the Lighting Edit Mini Sculpture Unlock. Did I get that right? It's so long, the name's so long. So okay, now looking at my face on screen, I can see that it's actually a well-pigmented um, product. And I especially like um, how the bronzes look like. And I think that we can actually use this to enhance our eyes. Like if you're someone who's always on the go and then you don't want to use any eyeshadows or anything, but you just want to add some drama to your eyes, this palette is great for that. Now that I'm adding the bronzer just well into my socket line and I'm just, you know, using circular motions, it's already adding some very nice diffused definition. Just make sure that when you're using like a brush for this, if you want to have a very diffused look, Make sure that the eyeshadow brush that you're using is very airy and very fluffy. Okay, then I'm gonna get this um, champagne strobe light with my finger. And I'm just gonna add it on my eyelid for some drama. And I'm just gonna go back with the brush into the bronzer here. And I'm just gonna deepen it some more and also blend them together so that it has a much more nice diffused Look. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some of this finishing powder here. And this is what I'm going to use to apply definition on my brow bone here. Now the reason why I'm using the finishing powder instead of the strobing powder in this palette is because I don't want everything to glow. Now this will just add a nice gentle um emphasis on my brow bone without actually overpowering it and also um, removing the definition that the bronzer has created. Okay, so this is it. So this is the complete look and I'm liking how glowy and dewy my face looks like. Um, just be very careful though that you don't overuse this product and if you find that you're shiny in some spots, all you have to do is to pick up some of your pressed powder or setting powder and add it on the spots that you don't want to have any shine on. Oh, I hit my eye. <laughs> Just so that it creates a much more nice and balanced look. Okay, so that's it for me today. If you have any more questions about the products that I used, leave them down in the comments box below and let's have a conversation about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye-bye.